Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Andrew Laidley. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, is urging governments to put more focus on fiscal consolidation and debt restructuring. Officials at the fund were speaking at the agency's annual general meetings being held virtually. Spending had to be increased and given that revenue was not easy to come by, borrowing had to be done. That meant that debt had, had to uh, go up. At some stage, we are going to have to deal with the debt. As you deal with the debt, you are going to have to do fiscal consolidation. It's important that fiscal consolidation is done in a growth-friendly manner. At the same time, Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva appealed specifically to developing countries, urging their governments not to ignore debt restructuring. We are experiencing severe difficulties where debt is not sustainable. Acting decisively and early on debt restructuring may be the way to go. Kingston Properties has completed the acquisition of an 88,000 square feet warehouse property on four acres of land on East Ashenheim Road in Kingston. The purchase was funded from cash resources. The deal is estimated at $607.5 million on a sale and lease buyback basis. Kingston Properties says the purchase is in keeping with its objective to achieve a target of 1 million square feet owned and under management by 2022. It says the property was purchased at a significant discount to replacement cost and this augurs well for future capital appreciation. Consumer prices moved at a rate of 0.2% in September. That's according to the latest inflation data released by the Statistical Institute of Jamaica, Statin. The movement was driven by slightly higher prices on tuition fees, cereals and meat. However, lower prices for agricultural produce, water and petrol moderated the movement. That brings the inflation rate to 4.9%, which is within the Bank of Jamaica's target range of between 4 to 6%. To currency trading now, it ended today with the US dollar selling for $146.64. The Canadian dollar sold for $110.81. $191.75 was the going rate for the pound sterling, while the euro closed at $174.60. The JSE index gained 5,231 points today, and the junior market index is up 19 points. Among the winners were Paramount Trading, Stationery and Office Supplies, First Rock Capital Holdings US Dollar Shares, Trans Jamaican Highway, and Caribbean Producers Jamaica. On the losing side were Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Radio Jamaica, Palace Amusement, Everything Fresh, and Pulse Investments. And that's the Financial Week. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening. <music>